coming up next on Nickelodeon, it's Roundhouse, followed by Nick News. has a talent. Some have a talent for singing. Aww. Aww. And some do not. Some have a talent for being diplomatic. Hey, I like my singing. Right. And some do not. Hey, what about me? I'm really good at, uh, uh, nothing. Oh, man. And some have no clue. But over time, with a lot of hard work and patience, a person can become so good at not having a clue. It becomes a talent in its own right. This is just a reminder about the upcoming talent show this Friday. I'm laying even money on three-time winner Max Bibleman. If any of you suckers want in on the action, see me in my office. Bibleman, come on, Max. And it's like, how is it to the Max? He's more talented than, than like, gender from Gilligan's Island. I don't know. I don't think he's that great. Reality check, tiny man. Bibleman, come on, Max. It is like, unbeatable. Yo, do this. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. This dude comes from a line of major talent dudes. Right, dude? Well, that doesn't mean I'm talented. Right, dude? Good one. Hey, son, I understand a talent show's coming up. Guess it's time you don yon yoke and assumed your rightful position as the uh, standard bearer of this proud brood. What the heck does that mean? It means it's time you got off your butt and brought home a trophy. Just like I did. Just like your mother did. Just like your brother did. Heck, even a dog brought home a trophy, son. And this space is yours. This dusty, barren, cobweb-covered, cavernous, empty shell of a space is reserved for you. This void. This pathetic, all cold, right. so you me, lifeless black hole. That's not to say that we don't have all the confidence in the world in you. So you want to be a star. You don't need talent and good looks to make it in showbiz. You need a famous last name. That's why there's a rebirth certificate. For half the price of acting lessons, you can purchase an award-winning surname like Spelling, Baldwin, or any variation of a status slash sheen. <laughs> and with a view acceptance, like Tito Jackson. Mm. An established name can bring you fame, fortune, and a birthday mention on Entertainment Tonight. I was so broke, I couldn't afford a pot to put peas in. Now I'm a member of the Wayan family, and I've got more money, more money, more money. So get your rebirth certificate today, because after all, talent is relative. That's it. I'll change my name. What are you talking about? This family is loaded with talent. Hey, Chucky, come on over here. Let's show Mr. Lack of Self-Esteem our little ventriloquist act. Hey, Dad, I've got a problem with you using my little brother to act like a dummy. What, you don't have a problem with the fact that your little brother's a 25-year-old black guy? <laughs> you, get real. You, get on my knee. Good evening, ladies and germs. How about a big hand for my little friend, Chucky? Say hello, Chucky. Hello, Chucky. Hey, Chucky, you know any good jokes? No? Well, then let's tell some bad ones. Say, is that your nose or are you eating a banana? Hey, I didn't come here to be insulted. Where do you usually go? I can't believe my ears. I can't believe them either. This is lame, Dad. I'm going to my room. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on there, mister. Maybe it's time you join this little act, huh? Uh, Hello, son. How are you? I'm great, Dad. You are smart and smell better than everyone. You look cool in black socks and Bermuda shorts. You sure know how to let people know who's boss. In fact, I, I, I am going to take out the garbage and mow the lawn as soon as possible, sweetheart. Uh, in the meantime, uh, why don't you show them your talent? Ooh! Hey, what are you doing? Hey, your mom just happens to be the best darn mime I ever heard. 
In fact, she's more than a mime. She's more than a mom. She's mom and chance. Oh, my goodness. I just walked into a wall. A great, big, invisible wall, and... Oh, my, it's filthy. Here. Oops. Oh, I missed a spot. Hey, I thought mimes weren't supposed to talk. Oh, well, I just find it easier for people to understand my act when I verbalize. Hey, uh, you know, I could teach you a thing or two about the mime area. Yeah, like what? Pull my finger and I'll teach you how to walk against the wind. Uh -huh. Here was America's favorite sidekick until a genetic experiment gave him a kick of a different sort. Now, Carson Entertainment and some guy named Wilbur are proud to bring you the Mr. Ed McMahon Show! The barn is a wrestler! <laughs> The back of a horse is dumb, of course, but he is the back of a talking horse. He'll laugh at your jokes about a divorce. He's Mr. Ed McMahon. <laughs> Say, uh, Mr. Ed, the other day I was in uh, Philly. Boa, you saw Philly? No, I was in Philly, and it was so hot. How hot was it? Well, it was uh, so hot that people were cooling themselves in the shade of Jay Leno's chin. Ha, ha, ha. Merry buddy, sir. Well, enough stalling. Whoa! Stalling! The subtle bond animal humor is appreciated, sir. This guy sucks wind. Yes. I do sharply in take care. Well, at least I'm not the only total loser. Yes. As a matter of fact, I'm the patron saint of no talent bums everywhere. Yeah, but I can't sing and I can't dance. And yet you may already be a winner. Like this former Star Search champion from a dairy aisle in Norman, Oklahoma. You tripped on vanilla ice, you melted for snow. Now give it up for the newest plain white rapper, Milk. Yo, Milk, that's me, and I'm on the scene. A pasteurized imagine I've been living clean. I'm white, I'm cool, I'm middle class. If you don't like my rapper, then you can look at my class. Come take a sip and wipe your lips. You find milk satisfying. This takes no skill, so if I spill, you better not start crying. Ooh, I can't dance like I thought I could. Ooh. Watch milk, I got the flavor, and I'll do your body good. Without one ounce of talent, rap can be your last resort. So before the show, you got to know what's white and comes in pork. Yo, milk, and I'm spoiled. Yeah, yo, he's spoiled. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, 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 I bite udders. Man, rapping takes no talent at all, and I can't even do that. <laughs> yes. You are correct, sir! return in a moment. We're watching Nickelodeon, and now back to Roundhouse. Just a reminder, we'd like to congratulate Max Bibleman on his win in the talent show next Friday. And for Kevin Any Kid, we have a nice, tasty sympathy sausage. Tasty, Link. Tasty. Oh, I guess I better bring some crackers. Affirmative, lizard man. Hello, Buffett. Hey, you're a sausage. <laughs> Way to go, dude. Making everybody think you're a loser. Major Coolidge with the foolish. Yep. Fooling everybody, except myself. Okay, let's take it from the top. Five, six, seven, eight. Come on, Grosjete, Grosjete. Relevate, relevate. Great poop palm. Move those buns. Mom, I'm 
I'm hungry, and Dad keeps making me plie. Come on, sell it, sell it. Hey, hey, don't you go anywhere. You're up next. Get that leg higher. Higher, Mom. As a busy TV mom, I know how important nutrition is to my make-believe family, but it's tough to whip up a hot one and keep these floors looking sharp. That's why at the end of a busy day, I reach for Sop and Glow, the biscuit gravy and floor wax in one. Sop and Glow, take five. Only Sop and Glow has that stick-to-your-ribs taste my family loves and the waxy yellow buildup my floor needs. Oh, I'm enjoying a semi-nutritious meal and performing a useful household chore. Yeah, and these loose mop strings are just like spaghetti. Mm. I want to lick the bucket. Stop and glow. If the taste doesn't floor you, the shine will. Mm. Hey, Chucky, your floor wax is getting cold. Ma'am, I'm afraid Chucky won't be reporting to dinner. Who are you? Steve Marks, talent agent. I represent a lot of the kids in this neighborhood, and Chucky and I feel it's time we had a little sit-down about this dinner thing. What? I'm talking macaroni, ma'am. Oh, it's the powdered cheese. He doesn't like the powdered cheese. Oh, no, no, no. He likes the powdered cheese. He wants it with every meal. Well, I don't know. Listen, I'm... lady, feed my client what he's worth, or we're going with another family. You know, the Wilsons think Chucky is a very valuable prospect. In fact, they're willing to make a trade. Your son for two goldfish. We'll take it. Really? Yeah. Goldfish are great. And when you get tired of them, you can just flush them down a the squatter. Mom. Oh, we're not going to trade you. Here, if it'll get rid of you, here's a pile of macaroni. Cool. Hey, Mr. Agent Man, I want some more macaroni, too. Sorry, kid. I only represent people with talent. Don't quit your day job. Aw, I'm discouraged. I wish something inspiring would come on television about a man who's lacking something but still made it. <laughs> After a horrible, disfiguring accident, a lonely teacher turns his back or will remain the victim of the world. Snell Gibson is the man without a butt. Yes, that's right. I have no butt. Have a look. Have a good look. Let's get it over with. Relax, man. Why don't you just turn the other cheek? Is that a crack? No, but... <laughs> that's right. I have no butt. And if that's all you see is a lack of my butt flesh, well then... then you don't see me. Cecil and Ebutt say... Two bums up. <laughs> Entertainment Cheekly says It's the first time I ever wanted to offer a man my feet Check out the film The Pittsburgh Posterior gives four and a half scars The Man Without a Butt It's the best movie about a buttless man you'll see this year <laughs> Hi, I'm Paula Abdul And I've been unjustly accused of lip syncing on my own album I've never been so insulted I don't have to lip sync Now when I have lip sync gloss The lip gloss will put the shine on even the worst voice Just listen to me without it Thomas of a new day. But don't take my word for it. Look at what happened to these guys. Remember us? We're Millie and Vanilli. If we'd listened to Paula, we'd still be on top instead of working the night shift at Plunkin' Donuts. Yeah. Shut up with that phony German accent. We can't even afford real dreadlocks. Just these mops. <laughs> Lip sync gloss by Lame Clone. It's a shine that hides your wine. Hey, give me that. Hey, I want my own TV. No, no, no. I want something with a little culture for the older generation. New generation. Old. New. Old. 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 New. Old. Old. New. Old. 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 We'll watch both. Look, it's the Joey Lawrence Welk Show. <laughs> and now, here's a wonderful, wonderful selection from my new album entitled Stay Forever Polka. <laughs> I'm the one. I'm the two. <laughs> It's one blossom that never should have bloomed. Very good, yes. I gotta have some kind of talent. Maybe I could go to one of those special schools on TV like those kids they sing and dance in the street. and ring the cowbell. <laughs> Thanks, Stevie. Act today and you can get a discount on the advanced course, Linda McCartney Woodblock. Here, 
Here, give it a try. Lame! Lame? What do you mean, lame? That was fabulous! Stupendous! Rock my world, fly boy! Stay tuned. Roundhouse will return in a moment. You're watching Nickelodeon, and now back to Roundhouse. until some smart aleck returns the bottom half of Mr. Goobner. And now, here's your host, the Hand Stand Up Comic. Thank you! It's great to be here! Is this thing on? <laughs> Thank you! But seriously, folks, I just broke up with my boyfriend last week. We were seeing eye to eye! <laughs> Thank you! Long it seems that some girls just can't see at all. Here's proof. I'm Lyle Lovett, and I'm Billy Joel, and I'm Rick Ocasek. We each play different types of music, but we have one thing in common. We're not exactly attractive. Face it, man, we're nasty. You look like a racer head. Well, at least Ranger Smith ain't looking for me, boo-boo. That's why we form big-time undesirables tied to unbelievable girls with lovely yoo-hoos. Or, but ugly. Frankly, we're as fun as you are. The dogs like us scored mega babes like my wife, Paulina. Julia Roberts and Mrs. Boo Boo. We don't even have cool British accents. But we do know that girls will do anything for a musician. So, whether you beat the bongos or tickle the ivory or sing some chirpy upbeat songs with no artistic value, like Boo Boo here. Shut up! Remember, music is a wonderful thing. Because even if you don't get the girl, you can always play your own instrument. Welcome back! Let's meet our judges! Three people I really look up to. <laughs> From family ties, Tina Yellers. Urkel. And finally, former talent show winner, Dad. Hi. You know, being a judge ain't all it's cracked up to be. After hours and hours of watching a bunch of no-talent runts make complete idiots of themselves, I can get a real butt-banger of a headache. That's why I take bribes. Bribes can help ease the tension that comes from having to decide who the winner's gonna be. That's because they're made with cash, the most potent under-the-counter payoff you can take. And bribes are aspirin-free, so there's no stomach upset. We have a winner! Hey, my headache's gone! You can't take a bribe. Your own son is in this show. Oh, you know, you're right, honey. Well, uh, I'll support the little nipper all the way. Let the cavalcade of stars begin! Woodpecker! Young Woodpecker! Come here, boy! Woodpecker! I will now demonstrate my precision knife throwing technique. Oh, this is my impersonation of a horse.
I thought you were great. Thanks. I think you're great. Well, you haven't even seen my act. I know. His haunting melodies have touched the hearts of millions. Ladies and gentlemen, for your listening pleasure, Max Feigelman is Dan Pitt, master of the arm fart. <laughs> And from his repertoire of popular music. <laughs> and his personal favorite. Can't touch this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, ten. Another ten and... <gasps> Tina Yuppel's phone number. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, unless our next contestant can come up with something spectacular, Five men won't be impossible to dethrone. Son, no matter what happens out there, your dad and I will always be your biggest fan. Thanks, Mom. I'm going to do something really different. I'm going to knock their socks off. I'm going to make you and Dad proud. Cuz. the sausage. Bring back five women. Come on, honey. Take the sausage. <laughs> You've been a great audience. Thanks for coming. Give yourself a big hand. Listen, son, I'm proud you gave it your best effort. But, you know, you, you should have never tried that Whitney Houston thing. We're sorry you didn't find your niche. Oh, that's okay. I'm going to do what everybody else does with no talent. I'm going to be a critic, and I'm going to start with my first review right here. Sam Pitt sucks. Oh, hey, Dad, what was that special talent of yours back then? Oh, well, you know, hey, son, it was a long time ago. Oh, come on, Dad, please. Well, all right. If you insist. the critic. Well, reprise the theme song and roll the credits. Whenever my life gets me so down, I know I can go down, 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 Coming up next, it's Nick News. Then enter the weird world of Mockingbird Heights, where the monsters live. Coming up right after Nick News, tonight on Nick at Night. Studio audience from CBS Studios in Hollywood, California. That's good enough.